Hello friends, welcome. Now in this video let's work with the reset password because right now we have the forgot password but if I add the password, the email here, so test example.com and say login. Here we need to change that to be submit or something else and we get that link if I navigate, yeah, we navigate to the password dash reset and we have here the token and also the email so for that first inside the pages i'm going to and of course if i open the backend the backend project so let's close this and let's open with a vs code just to see inside the routes auth route here we have the reset password and the middleware is guest and let's open this controller which handle that we need to send the token the email and the password and password confirmation let's run artisan serve again and let's close now this so we need to send the token which we get here as a param and also the email we get here and the password and password confirmation now let's work with that in the front end and let's open the vs code inside the pages i'm going to create a new one or well, let's just save this as a reset password okay let's save just instead of returning only the email i want the password and the password confirmation and i'm going to copy from the uh, register and here when we have that input for the a div for the email i'm going to remove that and paste the password and password confirmation now we need to create the password and password confirmation state here so instead of the yeah leave it the email and the errors and the status and let's create also here the const for the password and set password which is going to be equal with use state and initially an empty string also let's create a constant for the password confirmation and set the password confirmation which is going to be equal with use state initially an empty string okay now we have imported the axios the use state i'm going to import also the use effect here and i'm going to import also something else from the react router dom i'm going to import the use params and the use search params from the react router dom because i want to get the token and the email okay so we get that and what I'm going to do, I'm going to say here use effects and this is going to run when this is going to render for the first time so let's say here an empty array has dependencies and I'm going to say set the email and now we need to get that email from here so we need to say set the email and first let's create the const for the search params so we need to define the search params up here const and in array i'm going to say search params equal with the use search params 
and then down there on the set email I'm going to say search params dot get and we need to get the email and now if I just say console uh, console log console dot log the email and let's see if we get that email here so inspect the element go to the console uh, first we need to add the reset password in the route so here let's import that import reset password and here we need also to change this so let's say reset password import the reset password from pages slash reset password and we need to add inside the guest layout let's say route with path to be slash and password reset what we have here so password reset and we need to add the token here and add the element which is going to be equal with the reset password self close this and self close this one save this and let's open the browser yeah we have something like this which you need to change this one and we have password and password confirmation very good just uh, that yeah forgot your password instead of something like this i'm going to say add your new password okay add new add your new password and as you can see we have the email right here testexample.com which we added as a console log here very good now let's remove the console log we don't need so we set the email to the search bar and get also the token we need to get the token from the use params so i'm going to say here const and i'm going to destruct the token which is going to be equal with use params like this and on hand handle submit we first uh, call the event prevent default then await csr token set errors to null and set set errors to empty array and set status to null everything okay just instead of forgot password we need to say reset password here and set response data dot status okay otherwise we check for the errors And I think we are okay now, but we need to add also the email, the token, the password and the password confirmation, not only the email. So let's say email, let's say token, let's say, let's close this and maybe I'm going to do something like this. So email token, password and password confirmation. So we are going to send back what we expect on the backend. So email token, password and password confirmation. So if I open again that backend, let's close this just the be sure for you yeah we need the token as you can see the email and the password and password confirmation so what that we are going to send 
and let's try now. Add your new password. Let's close this because this is maybe expired. We don't have any. Let's go and refresh this one. Add a new password. Uh, add a, the email. So email is test example dot com and also we need to let's change this so in the forecode password we have login but we don't need the login we need to say submit okay and let's see also the Oh yeah, we need to run, run the artisan serve on the back end. On the front end we have run and let's say submit. Okay, we have emailed your password reset link and let's go here. Say let's close this one and let's reset the password. Add your new password and I'm going to add one to eight. Let's see. And also we need to change that, but your password has been reset. Very good. And now if we, the password has been reset, I want to add a link to go to the login page. So in the reset password, first change that login to be reset. password and I'm going to add here when we have a status also let's add a link to the slash login and let's say login and I'm going to say here let's cut this and add inside a div go to and paste that in go to login okay maybe add some classes here so class name to be margin top or margin two and padding two and let's try again for one more time i think we are everything good yeah we have your password has been reset and go to the login and we can log in with that new password so test example.com and if I add password and say login yeah the credential does month if I add one to eight say login yeah we redirected back to the home page i think we are okay friends now that's it about this video and see you in the next one all the best friends thank you very much and don't forget if you like like the video and subscribe to my channel